Hello and welcome to a new episode of Victoria 3A to Z. Today I'm playing a nation which I've been looking forward to. We are going to Burma. We start off with a pretty sizable army, but so do all of our neighbors. And not only that, but we also have extremely poor relations with the British. So they usually tend to come for us. Let's make sure we improve with them. Maybe we can keep this volatile peace. And instead of going to war with them, I might attack Siam and expand in this region of Indochina. So let's declare Siam as our rival. And maybe we can also improve with the Qing. Now if I want to attack Siam, I will definitely have to expand my army a little bit. So let's just build a couple more barracks wherever have a lot of population. Yeah, let's get 20 more units. For technology, I first want to get some stock exchange. And then probably some line infantry would be nice. After which I will move towards railways, I think. But that might change. Let's invest more money in the military. And let's do some more taxes. And I would like some social mobility in our states. Now we really have to build the basic stuff. Such as logging camps, iron mines, a coal mine, and a couple construction sectors. Also, I noticed we have this horrible modifier in our entire country. Which gives us less construction efficiency and less infrastructure. Definitely the Delightful. I'm really wondering if I can get some core laws in this country. Not yet, it doesn't really seem like it. Well, let's instead get this government in charge. And let's get the professional army. The British are going to with the Qing. I guess I'll keep an eye on this. Wait, what? The Hindustan Rebellion? Isn't this supposed to trigger like 10 years after the game starts? Well, it will probably get crushed anyway. And the British got Hong Kong. Now the Russians also want a piece of China. Quite a lot, actually. Yeah, the Qing is not having a great time. We might also want to get some arts industries. If we are to switch to line infantry. And we actually managed to get professional army. Now getting Corlos is still too far away. So how about we try some appointed bureaucrats? The army really wants that. Yeah, the Russians really took a big bite out of the Qing, but they mostly took territory with no population. So they are doing fine. Now we have 60 units, so I think at this point we are pretty much ready to attack Siam. I will try to transfer this subject. Let's mobilize everyone and let's put them on defense. And let's see if we can conquer some more states from them. I could take Bangkok, although it's a lot of infamy, but I think I'll do it. And then this state is quite cheap and it allows me to get a connection to Malaya and those nations over here. So let's also take it. And let's also take Samis Malaya. And that's it, I don't want to go any further. Okay, we are holding them back. They really exhausted their forces with that attack. So now I should be able to do a counteroffensive. And it's successful. Victory after victory. The only place we are losing is the parliament. Appointed bureaucrats just failed. Yeah, it happens, I guess. Anyway, let's end this war. And now I can even annex this country to connect my land. And now the industrialists want poor laws all of a sudden. But you can't get it because that will make the landowners mad. You'll have to wait for this. And we also unlocked line infantry. Although I don't think we can afford to switch to them right now. And let's annex our subject. Now that's a lot better. But I will have to incorporate those states. Now let's destroy our relations with Dynam. I would like to make them my rival at some point. For for more influence or that extra infamy decay. Okay, now we can go for poor laws and the landowners will not be mad about it. Let's try it out. Now we'll have to build some more stuff such as paper mills. And I think I'll have to build them in Bangkok. I don't really have a lot of job seekers anywhere else. And let's also build a steel mill and shipyards. Both military and normal shipyards. Let's just add a little bit of this to speed up the construction. Man, there is a big demand for opium. Maybe I should get a little bit more of this as well. This way we are getting rid of some arable land. So it will help to get the price of grain up. And Britain just expel my diplomat. Yeah, thinking about it, I might want to upgrade my army. It might become necessary. And now the British are also damaging relations. Yeah, it's not really a good sign. And we also enacted poor laws. Now I guess I can also get some tributaries in this region of Malaya. Annexing them would be a little bit too much info me. But a tributary is a lot less. One down, second one down as well. And now since both of those provinces are still occupied by me, that means I can even go for the third one. And they made the right choice. Okay, seems like nobody really has any problems if we get some colonies. So let's try it, why not? Let's get some filing cabinets for more bureaucracy. And now we should be able to integrate a couple more states. Or actually all of them. Okay, that's pretty nice. Are we ready to switch to iron frame buildings? Well, let's find out. Yeah, not really. And we'll need more iron. Let's try to improve with the British again. Hopefully they don't expel my diplomats again. Now I really want to attack Siam again, and to transfer this subject they have. Actually I want to transfer both of their subjects, and then I want to humiliate them, and give me war reps. And Dynam actually want to join us well if they get a state from this. Okay, you know what, you can get Cambodia. Siam will be completely destroyed in this war. And then in the next war, when their prestige will go down, I will try to make them my tributary. I think it will work. Yeah, they really don't stand a chance. And they capitulate. Also, look at this huge revolt in India. They are probably gonna get completely destroyed. The only problem with that peace deal is that those guys will be 
isolated for a while. I should have probably also took Sammy's Laos. Oh well, whatever. I can also reduce the autonomy of those guys right away, so let's do it. And colonial exploitation was enacted, although I'm not too sure who are gonna colonize. Anyway, now we can go for a dedicated police force, although the peasants might not like that, but I do not care. And now a lot of people want slavery banned. I don't really like that. I might get taxes down, just to get people less radical. And dedicated police force was enacted, but now we have huge bureaucracy problems, so we'll have to fix that. Let's get three more government administrations. Reforms at gunpoint. I said it and I'll say it again. This is the absolute best event in the entire game. We can do whatever the revolution wants, in this case banning slavery, and the landowners will not even be mad about it. Let's do it. This is amazing. And now I can also reduce the autonomy of those countries in Malaya as well. I will of course do it for all of them. Now they are all my vessels. Now I could get this racial segregation instead of national supremacy. Okay, I guess we can do this. I don't have any problem with that. We got it pretty fast. So now we are not discriminating against that many people. Oh, and our infamy has gone down to one. So I think it's time to go to war with Dynam. First of all, I want to transfer Cambodia from them. I want to conquer their part of Cambodia, which I gave them. And I also want to conquer one of their states. And I think I'll go for this one, the middle one. That's a lot of infamy, but it will really cripple their nation. And they are also fearful, I hope they don't back down. We might have to make this a primary event. And let's also get some war reps from them. And we are going to war. However, they are still using irregulars, so it will be really easy. And we also unlocked railways, although we don't have any infrastructure problems just yet. Now I think I might also want to establish a navy. Let's recruit a couple ships. Like about 10. They capitulated. Now I really want to go to war with Siam right now. And I want to make them a tributary. Otherwise they might become a regional power. And I don't want that. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me right now. Britain joins against me. And we also got a new king right now. Our old one saw this mess and was just like, no, I ain't dealing with none of this. Britain doesn't really seem to be sending troops here, however. So I might be able to also conquer Singapore from them. Let's try it. But the British will definitely try some naval invasions. Like they did right here and I didn't see it. Well I will try to naval invade them back. At least I am capitulated. Let's also mobilize the entire country. I think it's necessary. And let's import some more guns. And we're actually holding them back, I can't believe it. Okay, now the British are actually going in the negatives. And the Heavenly Kingdom Rebellion also started. I guess we'll see if it will succeed or not. No Britain, I'm not gonna white peace with you. You are gonna give me Singapore. Okay, now we're finally at peace. Let's reduce some more autonomies. And our market is looking pretty nice. Wait, what? The Danish market is here. Why is the Danish market in Indonesia? Why is the Netherlands part of this? I have no idea. Now how about we build more drugs? Okay, okay, now we're finally getting close to getting Corlos. Finally, after so much time, after more than 20 years, we finally managed to trigger Corlos. And we got the modern conservative we've been waiting for. He's gonna be an inspiration for our age. And he's also gonna be the leader of the landowners. And now it's time to get started. Time to get homesteading. And also to celebrate that modern conservative, we're going to war with Dynam. We're making them our tributary. They might back down. No, they don't actually. Well, that doesn't matter, they are still becoming my tributary. And then we can also reduce the autonomy of Siam. And now I should probably start annexing some of my subjects. Starting off with the Malaya ones. We got rid of serfdom. Now it's time for capitalism. And annexing all my subjects in Malaya was really easy. So now let's go for someone else, like this guy in Laos. And he did just accept. Well, how about this one? He also did just accept. Well, Cambodia then. They also accepted, man, that was extremely lucky. But for those two, I'll have to wait a bit more in order to annex them. Now I am starting to have a couple infrastructure problems, so we'll have to build some railways. Now I guess I can incorporate a couple more states, but I don't have enough bureaucracy for all of them. And we just got a new king now, which is part of the church, so we'll have to bring the monks in government. And also we get minus 15% authority because this guy is a child, so that's pretty unfortunate. And also everybody hates him. Yeah, I don't really like this guy. Finally, we got a better economic system. And we can also establish a company. I guess I'll go for Burmese metal. And now it's time to do some trading. And now we can reduce the autonomy of Dynam. And somehow free trade actually failed. Although we still have the market liberal landowner. Well, I guess we can form this government with the industrialist, and we can try to get a voting system. Official nationality. Let's get more assimilation. The Qing wants a trade agreement. Okay, sure, why not? I really hope passing this law and becoming a democracy will not change our beautiful flag. Just look at it. It's glorious. Now it's time to finally annex Siam. And they are not going to accept peacefully. And landed voting is now here. And thankfully our flag didn't change too much. Now I think I'll try to get some public health insurance. I want to do it right 
right now while the monks are still really strong. There we go, Siam is now ours. We got our first election. And I guess we can form this liberal government. That could be quite nice. And guess what, now we can go ahead and annex Dynamo as well. I don't think anybody will get involved. Yeah, I think they are really done. Okay, that's it, we conquered the entire region of Indochina. Now it might be time to move into some different regions. First of all, let's try to make a tributary in Brunei. They are fearful, so maybe they will back down. No, looks like they actually want to fight. Then so be it. Now we can also establish our second company. And I think I'll go for the steel one. And in terms of technology, I think I might research skirmish infantry. And then I'll research a third company. And yeah, Brunei is gonna be my tributary. Whether they like it or not. Now let's go for Bulunga and they have zero units. For some reason, Spain sides against me. I have no idea why. But it's fine. It's not like they are sending any troops. Now let's try to go for Kutai maybe. And I have enough bureaucracy to incorporate every single one of my states. Those guys actually decide to back down. Well, let's go for Sintang next. But the Dutch East Indies will probably join. They have a defensive pact. So maybe I don't want to do this. Let's maybe go for Siak instead. I think I will just annex them. Yeah, those guys were annexed. Now I think I'll wait until I get skirmish infantry and then I'll go to war with the Dutch East Indies. In the meanwhile, however, we could try to get an interest in this region. That gold is looking pretty damn good, I'm not gonna lie to you. If I attack Transvaal right now, there is a big chance Orange also joins. So I will have to annex both of them in one war. So I might want to wait until my infamy goes down. And we got General Steph unlocked. That means we can upgrade our army to skirmish infantry. That will probably cost a ton of money. But I think it's gonna be worth it. Wait, what? For an obligation, I can form an alliance with the Qing. That could be pretty interesting. Yeah, now I think we are ready to go ahead and attack Sintang. And we'll probably also have to fight the East Indian. This, but that's fine because we're gonna call in the Qing. And I actually got claims on those two states in North Sumatra because I had an uprising right here. So I can demand them from the East Indies. Oh, actually Sintang just backed down. Well, that was pretty wise of you. Well, now let's also go for Pontianak. And we also finally got public health insurance. Now I guess we could try to go for wealth voting. And Pontianak backed down as well. Let's go for Sulu now. They backed down as well and now it's time to go for these guys. Oh no, they're actually a tributary of the East Indies. Okay, I understand you are not independent. But what if I go to war with the Netherlands itself and I try to liberate the East Indies. Nobody seems to really join. Okay, let's try this out. Let's also call in the Great Qing, but they call in Sweden. Okay, it's gonna be interesting. They are still fearful, they might back down. I would really like them to back down actually. No, they actually want to fight. Okay then. And now the Netherlands is willing to give me whatever I want. And that's it, the East Indies are free, but not for long. They are now all fractured. And now I can go one by one and get myself more tributaries. But unfortunately I have truces with most of them. Well whatever, at least I can reduce the autonomy of some other people. Oh and by the way, the British are also belligerent, they are damaging relations. Yeah, they might be coming for me. Time for another company. This time I think I'll go for this coal company. Trade agreement with the French. Sure, that's an amazing idea. Or actually no, the French are gonna get annexed. The Great Laos Earthquake. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. And now everybody wants per capita taxation all of a sudden. So yeah, I guess wealth voting will have to wait while going into taxes. Okay, and guess what? Transvaal is having a revolt. And if I help the revolt, they are willing to become my tributary. That's an amazing deal, I have to say. I have to take it. A tributary in Transvaal for no infamy? That's amazing. There we go, Transvaal is now our subject. Now I guess I can go for orange as well. But this time I'll be annexing them we managed to get per capita taxation. Now we're gonna make a lot more money. And now I think it's about time to get a schooling system. And Orange has also capitulated. So now it's time to build some gold mines. As many as possible. However, Orange will still live on right here. And we got the Red Scare because of Communist Australia. Religious schools were enacted. And I would like to invest some more in those. And in healthcare. So our truce have ended with all of those people in Indonesia. So I'm gonna attack them. There we go. Now all of those countries in Sumatra and Borneo are under our sphere of influence. Now we just need to go ahead and annex all of them. I will start off with Brunei. Yeah, and I think now it might be time to go for wealth voting. Finally, wealth voting was erected. And I've also an extra to my subjects in Borneo. Now I want to attack this country and annex them. Oh, but they got some allies. Well, I don't think they are too powerful, really. I think I can do it. I want to get this state for reasons you'll see later. And actually, nobody got involved in this. Okay, now absolutely everybody wants appointed bureaucrats. So okay, you're gonna get it. Now the reason I want to get this province is because now I have a border with Transvaal that's not completely landlocked. So now it's a good time to annex them. And now I can send a bunch of troops around here. Now the rural folk of all people is trying to plot a coup. I don't think I I like this. And we also got appointed bureaucrats. Now let's annex Transvaal. 
And let's build all of their gold mines. They have quite a lot of them. Okay, now Britain and France are going to war. So call me crazy, but I think it's a good moment to go ahead and attack Britain. And take some of their states around here. Such as this one right here. This creates a lot of border war. And of course I also want this one in Malaysia. And this state as well. Now question is, who am I calling in? Of course I'm gonna get a Qing, they're my ally. And then do I get France? They want Madras. Do I give it to them? Let's try it without them. Man, I mean this huge war against Britain. This is the worst time for an uprising. Okay. Okay, I initially managed to occupy my war goals, and I did some naval invasions around India. But now I'm running out of manpower, the British are trying to naval invade me as well, and I'm losing in India as well, and they are getting close to my capital. Also, I guess I have to deal with this revolt as well. But they went in the negatives, and they are so close, so incredibly close to accepting. I just need to hold on for a couple more weeks. Okay, there we go. There we have it. We won. We actually did it. Now let's improve with them. I don't want to go to war with them ever again. Now there is a big movement to get rid of conscience. And I think I'll do that. I don't see why not. And also the French became belligerent towards me. And Austria-Hungary as well. Man, everybody hates me. Man, that war was devastating to our economy. But at least you don't have to look at that border war anymore. Freedom of conscience was enacted. Restricted child labor. Should I do this? Yeah, I guess I don't want a revolution. Now let's go ahead and annex our last subjects. And with this capitulation of Jambi, I've officially annexed all my subjects. Now in case you're wondering, what happened in the rest of the world as you can see africa is being colonized by britain and france and the netherlands as well made a small empire over here after we kicked them out of indonesia meanwhile in europe looks like the two sicilies might be forming italy scandinavia was also formed by sweden and austria hungary united the south germans meanwhile prussia hasn't done absolutely anything in the north it's still a complete mess and finally the americas are looking as expected if you expect peru bolivia to stick together well anyway let's go back to us we are a major power number 11 in the world we didn't quite make it the top 10 but we did in terms of gdp we have the 8th largest economy just below france actually so i would say we're doing pretty well our literacy is not the best really neither is our standard of living but at least we have a huge population we are number 9 in the world with over 30 million and man it's a really diverse population the burmese are only the third largest group in our country we have a lot more thais and vietnamese at least religious wise theravada is still our main faith those right here are all the roads i managed to pass those are my institutions that's our country census data and those right here are my three companies so that's it for this video thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel for more victoria 3a to z and i'll see you in the next one